This biopic is dedicated to Mr. S. Karivardhan, the unforgettable pioneer of Indian motorsport for his 65th birth anniversary, 20th June 2019. Karivardhan, the unforgettable pioneer of Indian motorsports. When an indomitable sporting spirit is married to a highly intuitive mechanical mind, the result would be a historical life story. This is about S. Karivardhan, a pioneer, doyen and legend of Indian motorsports who was a formula car designer, tuner and racer all rolled into one. Karivardhan had attended the Jim Russell Racing School and returned to India. Fondly called Kari Sundaram Karivardhan was born into an illustrious family of industrialists and entrepreneurs in the textile city of Coimbatore on 20th June 1954. Son of G.K. Sundaram and Tayaramar, Kari at a very young age showed talent in tinkering with anything mechanical and started off with go-karts. His keen personal interest in motor racing and great passion for cars was awesome. With hardly any made-to-purpose racing machines available, he decided and started to build his own cars for racing. As an enthusiastic racer, he began experimenting with production model cars, bikes and then rally cars in the late 70s. Kari started converting and altering radically the road machines for purposeful racing. He began his career by modifying a premier Padmani, the Fiat car. Kari driving his first Fiat at the Sholavaram race in 1973. After completing his studies abroad in the US and UK, Kari returned and raced in 1979. The Datsun 510 was built and raced between 1979 and 1980. His first major breakthrough was the single-seater rear-engine Datsun Special Formula car which was designed, built in 1980 and raced by him in 1981. He dominated the races at Sholavaram and Barakpur and won the races with a huge lead. 65 is not letting go. Dangerous. That was very dangerous. Both 65 and 62 took the turn too fast. 60, 65 has gone off the track. 62 is stuck. There's 65. Here we are, number 65 on the home stretch. The checkered flag is getting ready. 65 coming through. A very comfortable victory, very comfortable victory. This became the stepping stone for him to begin the design 
and manufacture a series of single-seater formula cars. and two-seater formula cars. One of the highlights was his innovative idea to choose a Sipani Dolphin car and modifying it by fixing a Formula Ford engine to get the best power to weight ratio and thus he dominated and won the races in Kolar and Sholavaram. B&B special with a modified Dolphin body to a Ford Escort engine, S. Karibarthan from Kambato. Harivardhan Kwambato, way ahead, far and away, the winner. Harivardhan, way ahead. Harivardhan wins the 1986 Karnataka Motorsports Club Grand Prix. Due to import restrictions, he began designing and building open wheel formula race cars with imported parts which he used to race with passion. Before moving on to the faster Formula Atlantic category where he first drove a March chases Later, the Formula Chevron. At one stage now, he's caught up. Second position and now he's the machines to find over matter. But Cody Werner burning the tracks here driving beautifully down the straight and it's increased the lead surprisingly. Look at that lead. He's got a lead of 200 meters plus over Bob Juggins and I don't know what that means at this stage. In fact, Ricky Chandra was just approaching the start of the straight and Kari has already completed the U-turn at the end of the straight and is now racing into the chicken before the first left-hander. Takes the first left-hander beautifully. The track is functioning perfectly at this point of time which means that Kari Vardhan will be 3.2 kilometers ahead of uh, Harish Samtani. Please, never let up for anybody's pressure. Vicky Chando came in second. And uh, Harish Samdani was third. Unfortunately, Bob Duggan. And finally, Formula 3 cars. He even meticulously did the artistic graphs and colors for his racing machines.
His racing number was 65. He introduced the fuel injection system for the first time into the Maruti Gypsy cars in around 1994 and these machines created a riot in rallies of the National Rally Championship. Karivardhan also anchored the JK Tire Motorsport program from 1993 till his untimely demise. He designed, built and introduced the epoch-making Formula Maruti in 1989 from his garage in Coimbatore. A legend in the making, a car constructor par excellence. These Formula Maruti cars were raced for the first time at Sholavaram in 1989 before moving on to Shri Pirambadur. As many as 26 of his Formula Maruti racing cars participated at Sri Pirambadur in the 1994 National Championships. He even started an innovative project in the 80s to make micro-light aircraft. He planned to source Rotax engines for it, to sell them to the Indian Army, to adventure teams and for export to France. In fact, the present racetrack bearing his name, the Curry Motor Speedway at Coimbatore, was the airstrip he developed to serve his micro light project. Curry bought rights from a kit car manufacturer based in Britain to build replica cars of the iconic models Ford GT40, AC Cobra, and Lotus 7. Curry turned into a mentor, sporting talent, and grooming champions keeping the sport going at a pace. Racing talents like Narain Karthikeyan, who became India's first F1 driver, N. Leela Krishnan, and J. Anand, who became top tuners and race drivers, and other race drivers, C.K. Jinan, C. Rajaram, Akbar Ibrahim, Hari Singh, R. Gopinath, Arjun Balu, and many other notable names of the motorsport world owe him a lot for his contribution. His pioneering spirit, visionary zeal. You got blocked. Great values and camaraderie has forever etched his name in the history books of Indian motorsport. Everyone who knew him had admiration and respect for him. It was a great loss to the motorsports world when he died in an air crash at the age of 41 in 1995 in Coimbatore. Perry Vardhan was managing director Lakshmi Mills, Coimbatore's wealthiest business house and an international racing driver and rallyist. A mechanical engineer, he was home by four in the evening, from where he would slip away to his own private garage. Here, the one-time racing champion spent all his time doing up cars for rallies and training drivers to step on the gas. His hobby was set to turn into a business venture. Karivardhan died in an air crash shortly after this interview. We are just getting into the manufacture of that, you know, but the volumes will be maybe about uh, 75 cars a year or something like that. Here, we wish to unfold an amazing story of a great human being, an enigmatic, unforgettable personality about his dream machines and how he forever changed the face and ethos of Indian motorsport. <laughs>